Since the release of its first season back in March of this year, Calls has gone on to become one of the most unique experiences on Apple TV. And with a critic rating of 95% on Rotten Tomatoes, it goes without saying that fans can't get enough of this visual podcast. But what should you know about Calls? And how is it different from other thrilling mysteries? For all this and more, stay tuned. What can you expect from Calls? First things first, you have to understand that Calls is not your typical television show. Although it takes the format of a run-of-the-mill mystery anthology, you'll immediately know Notice that the visuals of the series are somewhat missing. Sure, there are a few data streams that spring to life throughout its duration, but this is nothing compared to what we're used to on a regular basis. You see, Calls was shot similarly to an animated movie or series, where the cast members took the form of voice actors and played their roles with as much emotion as they could, despite being stuck in the audio booth all day long. And while this may sound boring, it's a format that makes sense when you consider what the show is actually about. Essentially, the audience is placed in the position of someone listening into a selection of phone calls, each of which tell a particular story, and none of which seem to connect to one another. That is, until we notice some connections later on. But we're not going to go ahead and spoil this for potential viewers. In other words, this is the perfect television show for people who have an affinity for podcasts, or want to watch television while working out, but usually miss out on vital parts of a show when they forget to look at the screen. It is truly a unique experience, and as it turns out, something that audiences across the globe enjoyed. The episodes you should be looking forward to. There are approximately nine episodes in season one, each with their own individual story and runtimes below 22 minutes. This makes each episode easy to digest. And since the majority of critics have applauded the show for the intense feelings of suspense created throughout, it goes without saying that the writers have birthed an environment that is pretty heavy from start to finish. This is great considering just how many shows rely on slow build-ups, which can be a tad frustrating for those of us who want fast-paced action and questions answered quickly after they've been asked. And as far as speed goes, you won't find anything faster than calls. In fact, some might say that these individual episodes storm by in a blink and you might miss it fashion, so if this is something you feel attracted to, go ahead and try it out for yourself. Funny enough, the season starts with an episode titled The End, which has a runtime of only 14 minutes and sets the tone for the rest of the franchise. It also establishes the mystery that appears to be present throughout the runtime of the show, even though each specific episode tells its own individual story. Which stars feature in this unique experience? But there's a lot more to calls than a unique experience. As it turns out, the show has one of the greatest casts in the history of Apple TV. The episode of Pedro Across the Street for example, features the one and only Pedro Pascal, who fans will recognize from his leading role in The Mandalorian and the upcoming The Last of Us series from HBO. Since Pascal has made a name for himself for being emotive and portraying one of the most beloved characters in recent history with just the use of his voice, it goes without saying that he was perfect for calls. And he sure does make an impact when this episode comes along. He isn't the only one, though. Rosario Dawson, who brilliantly portrayed the role of Ahsoka Tano alongside Pascal in The Mandalorian, was also given the chance to shine in calls. And shine, she most certainly did. The same could be said for Clancy Brown, known for his work on the Mortuary Collection, Jaden Martell of Defending Jacob fame, and Joey King, known best for the role she played in the Kissing Booth franchise. Coles also digs into the horror genre quite prominently, and as such features some prominent names from the category. This includes the likes of Judy Greer from the Halloween franchise, Jennifer Tilly from Bride of Chucky, and Riley Keough, known best for the role she played in The Lodge. And that's still barely scraping the surface. The overall direction of the show. Unlike other anthologies on the market, Calls keeps its uniformity by having Fede Alvarez in the directing seat for each and every episode. And by the end of the first season, you'll be able to see why this was a great idea. For those of you who don't know, Alvarez is the man behind titles like The Evil Dead, Don't Breathe, and of course, The Girl in the Spider's Web. In other words, Calls is by no means the first time Alvarez has dipped his toes into the horror genre. In fact, some would say that he's one of the best directors around at the moment. It might also surprise you to hear that Calls is actually based on a French series starring Timothy Hoche, which already has a grand total of three seasons. This has fans of the franchise feeling pretty ecstatic about the future of the series, which is yet to be renewed by Apple TV, but clearly has a lot more to show us in the long run. And for those of you who have already seen the French version, Calls very much stays on par with the suspense and dread you'll remember emanating from it. Another show it can be compared to is Black Mirror, a science fiction horror that brings out a similar feeling in its audience. Oh, and remember to keep on watching till the very end, as Season 9 features a pretty strange end credit scene you'll want to discuss with friends. The difference in the writing of the show shines through. Something else you'll notice from the running of the show is just how different the writing is compared to everything else currently being offered on Apple TV. You see, since Calls takes the form of an audio drama, the writers needed to find a way to include as much emotion within the dialogue of characters as possible. The audience isn't able to gauge reactions from the expressions or body language of the beloved cast members after all, which always makes it a lot more difficult to perform. It can also be quite difficult to differentiate between characters when all you know is their voices. But we must say 
that the writers did an incredible job at crafting an experience that rose above these problematic aspects with little to no problem at all. When talking to one another, characters often refer to each other by name, and rather than relying on signposting and other visual clues, the background of a scene is always described when relevant to the actual story. It must also be said that descriptions such as these never feel forced. They take place in a formed manner and allow for the viewer to paint their own picture of what is happening as it's being described. In fact, the writing actually allows the audience to somewhat create their own series, similar to the way that a reader would create a world when reading a book, not something you'd usually expect from a television show. Can we expect a second season in the near future? As mentioned earlier, Calls has not yet been renewed by Apple TV for a second season, but since the show has become somewhat famous for its strange format and incredible performances, there's no doubt that a second season is in the cards. That being said, we find ourselves in a strange situation at the moment, with the coronavirus pandemic still raging on. For those of you who don't know, the spread of COVID-19 has had a delaying effect on the film industry and has caused the budgets of streaming platforms like Apple TV to diminish to a certain extent. And while most countries have increased their vaccination rates over the last few months, experts suggest that these effects may very well last the next few years. What does this mean for the future of calls, though? Well, this all depends on the budget that Apple TV has available for next year. We know that the titular cast is worth a lot of money after all, but since the show has become so popular, we believe the season two announcement is just a few weeks away. If that's true, we can probably expect a second season to land sometime late next year. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the shocking new Apple TV show that has fans addicted. So are you tempted to watch Calls? And if you already have, what was your favorite episode? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.